Surgical safety week this week. I thought I'd take the opportunity to show all electricians how a safety switch actually works. Um, I've got a diagram here behind me, which I'll go over in a minute. And I will just say that if you want to see fully in detail how a safety switch works, we do have a lot of videos on our platform that go right into it. Today I'm going to go over the basics of it. I know many electricians don't actually understand how a safety switch does work. I know as an apprentice um, and coming through the trade, probably, probably for my first six years, I never fully understood how it worked. I just knew that it was there to protect people from electric shock. But it is really important to know how they actually work. Your career is important, but your life is a lot more important to you and the people around you and your family. So we'll go right over this and I hope you get something good out of the video. First things first, I'm just going to run you through how an RCD or a safety switch, whatever you want to call it, operates under normal circumstances, not under fault conditions. Now this diagram here I've drawn up as if we're in a house, so we are using a 30 milliamp RCD and I've set it up with the three circuit breakers behind it. This could be an RCBO, it wouldn't really make a difference. Um, so we're basing this on a house. If you're in a different industry, you could have a 10 milliamp RCD or something different. But if everything's operating like normal, for this example, I'm just treating it as if we only have one appliance in the house and it's plugged into this power point here. Now this could be a hammer drill or anything. For this example, we'll say it's a hammer drill and it's drawing five amps. So we're pulling five amps through into our 40 amp RCD on the line side. And then that's coming out of the low side of the RCD and into our circuit breaker. And then that comes through our active conductor to the power point. And now we've got our hammer drill running. So that's running through the hammer drill, back through the neutral, back up to the protected neutral bar, and then back to the load side of the RCD. So this is where the RCDs are actually looking for an imbalancing current. So it's sent five amps out and it's got five amps coming back in. So it's happy, it's not gonna trip off. That five amps goes back through the line side, back up to your unprotected neutral bar, and then back through your main neutral back to supply. So just gotta remember, current's always trying to get back to its source. Under fault conditions, let's say our hammer drill might be getting a bit old or it's gone faulty and we've got 10 milliamps traveling back through our earth. So now we're missing 10 milliamps returning through the neutral. Our RCD is still not gonna trip because it's looking for an imbalance of 30 milliamps or greater. So this will still operate as normal. That current will just travel up through the earth bar, across into the MEN, and then back through the neutral that way. So it's still gonna get back to its source and the RCD won't trip it up. Now let's say we have 40 milliamps returning through earth. So we've got a bit of earth leakage. This will trip off straight away because it's detected an imbalancing current of more than 30 milliamps. Um, so this is residual current. And if you want to know what residual current is, residual current is a current that's actually missing. So it's not returning through the neutral, it's coming back through the earth. So that's what residual current is. And that's what would happen under fault conditions. Now, I'm just going to say quickly, if you were to just grab the active and neutral, you actually just become part of the circuit. The safety switch isn't going to trip. There's no imbalance of current. You are now the active and you're returning through the neutral. So it will not trip. Now that's a basic example for your apparent RCD actually works. There's a few more notes here, which you can have a look at and pause the video if you can. Other than that, if you really are interested in improving your career in the electrical industry, there's a link in our bio, jump on the platform, get around it. Hope you enjoyed.